What is up YouTube and welcome back everyone tuning in to the hub of Roblox where we keep you posted with some of the latest and greatest Roblox news and updates every week. In today's special video, we're going to be dropping a few popular Roblox YouTuber scandals that almost ruined their reputation along with all the details too. It's going to be pretty wild so before we get started, make sure you all smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too and without any more interruptions, let's just go ahead and dive straight into it. Like other ordinary content creators on the platform, the Roblox side of YouTubers are no exception to the controversy, drama, and widespread rumors thrown out by the general online community. There's no real way to avoid it, even on your best behavior, the online world will always find something to fault over you, which is usually okay if you aren't treading on anyone else's day. But the list we have for you guys this time is gonna reveal some Roblox YouTubers that went a step further than making a simple mistake and actually found themselves in a pretty wild scandal instead. So for number 5 on this list, we have Dragod. Currently sitting at around 549,000 subscribers, it's a real shame that someone so prominent as him would make it on this list. This may shock some of you older fans out there, as Dragod was actually responsible for helping spread the hacking rumor going around on Roblox like crazy back in June of 2017. His channel was also filled to the brim with clickbait titles, holding some of the most absurd scenarios ever. Usually, these videos would be nothing but him speaking about random, unrelated things with gameplay of Jailbreak running in the background. Honestly, not sure why so many of his fans still continue to watch his videos at that time, but after August of 2017, he was actually inactive for a good amount of time, making his audience believe that he had spontaneously decided to quit YouTube. He came back to only continue his dirty habits, except this time, he would upload clickbait Fortnite videos with completely false claims in the titles. Pretty shameless, but that sadly is not all we have for you guys. Bringing us to number 4, which is gonna have to be Quackity. He was heavily criticized for his Roblox Sucks series, as well as raiding a ton of Roblox forums and spamming everyone to unban his account. Right, so before we've even mentioned any scams from this guy, he doesn't give a good image of himself coming off so obnoxious and annoying. A lot of his fanbase thinks it's hilarious, but it makes sense when you realize how many immature children actually view his videos. As there's nothing inherently wrong with that, it's when they start affecting other websites and forums. The genius ended up getting IP banned and even caused Roblox to instate a two-year account age limit to post on the forums. Wow, how funny. I mean, not that it matters since the Roblox forums don't even exist anymore, but why is that? Yeah, that was also Quackity too. I think that small summary basically sums up that guy in a nutshell. For number 3, it's actually gonna be Dennis. This one may have caught some of you viewers off guard considering he doesn't even do Roblox anymore, but that is why we gotta look to the past just like with the others. Dennis was mainly criticized for his Growbuck site, which claimed to give free Robux for completing certain tasks. Yeah, if something sounds too good to be true, then 9 times out of 10, it probably is. Players have also accused him numerous times for clickbaiting, despite deleting the Growbucks video as well. A lot of saltier fans will go a step further and accuse him of stealing other people's content and ideas, which can also be debated since there are already so many Roblox YouTubers making videos every day, it isn't exactly easy to make super original and enticing content every upload. Moving on for number 2, we have I'm Sandra. She also has a current YouTube account in which her videos on average receive hundreds of thousands of views. On the first account she used to play on, she had fallen into a bit of major controversy for what caused her to get banned. Roblox had noticed suspicious activity with her account and those interacting with it and through a short investigation found out that I'm Sandra had been selling items in game for real money, not Robux. Right, so you can't do that, and not only that, but it's such a suspicious thing to do anyway when there's already a currency in place. Robux is only there as a safe microtransaction that players can use to buy things in-game and not get scammed. And finally, for number 1 on this list, we have PokeDigger1, who is another Roblox account that has done frequent Robux giveaways, except he has multiple accounts that have been banned forever. We aren't sure how he was able to continue creating one after another and not get caught, but his giveaways were for the most part legitimate, yet still against Roblox's rules and his reputation slightly tarnished as a result. But go ahead and let us know any other YouTubers you know that were involved in a wild Roblox scandal down in the comments below. Thanks for watching everyone, and if you guys enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel too if you haven't already for more of the best Roblox content out there. You can also tap the notification bell icon as well to not miss out on any of our future uploads that we post either. This is the Hub of Roblox signing off and we'll catch you all in the next one.